This is an easy way to calibrate your motor. Now this is not perfect, this is very subjective, but it's gonna get you pretty dang close without having to buy any testing equipment at all. Okay, before we get started, there's a couple of things we'll need to do on our monitor just to get this thing ready for calibration. So to start out, go into settings, head down to picture, your picture mode, change that to custom. For picture adjust, if you have anything like super resolution, we want to turn that off. Uh, black level, we can turn that to its lowest setting if you have that. We can turn off DFC, and that should be good for that section. Uh, if you have a game section, you may have something called like a black stabilization. Uh, you'll want to turn that to its midpoint as well. This is going to affect our blocks in a big way for calibration. And finally, for color adjust, uh, gamma, you can just leave it to whatever that is. Color temp should already be in custom. And set all your colors to their midpoint as well. Next, go down to whatever your general settings are and take a look through there. You're specifically looking for like a smart energy saving. Uh, you definitely want to turn that off. That's really going to affect our picture in a negative way. And that's it. That should be uh, enough to kind of get us started. Now it's entirely likely that all of your settings are going to look totally different and your menu is going to look totally different. That's fine. Take the time, go through it. And we essentially want to disable anything that's going to affect our brightness, our contrast, a black level, uh, sharpness, and colors. We might be enabling some of those afterward on the calibration, but at least this gets us first to a neutral starting point. Now I can't take any credit for the images that you're going to be using for calibration here or that we're using in the video. They've been come up by people much smarter at me than doing this. Special shout out to ABS HD 709 and this group on the ABS forum. If you want the actual raw files that you can burn to a DVD or any of the raw files, they're available totally free. You can pick them up there. Link is going to be in the description as well. Okay, so the first setting we're going to want to adjust is our black level, or our brightness. Now you should see bars 17 to 25 flash, but nothing lower. 17 should be almost impossible for you to see. You can also take a look at this one from uh, slightly sideways, and that also will make those flashing bars easier to see. I'll leave this image on the screen for the next minute to give you a chance to calibrate your own monitor at this time. Simply put for this test, we want to see our brightness setting as low as we possibly can adjust it where all the bars 17 through 25 are still flashing. Now any of the bars from 2 to 16, they should all be pure black. So if any of them start turning gray, you've gone too far or too bright. Next off, uh, once this one's done, we're going to move on to contrast. You can blip forward. I'll leave a timestamp down below. To adjust our contrast here, bars 230, 234 or higher, we want them to flash. If they stop flashing, we've gone too far or added too much contrast. Before we continue any further, on this one we are just going to verify that our brightness and contrast are set correctly. 
half the bars should be flashing, the other half should not be flashing in both the white section and on the black section. If you're happy with your results, continue on to the next one. We're going to adjust our sharpness. If not, go back and start the brightness and contrast again. So with this pattern, we want to increase our sharpness as high as we can, but we don't want any patterns to develop in any part of this image. You can see a bunch of diamonds in different parts here. And you'll also see this arc. So you'll want to decrease your sharpness until none of these weird shapes show up, but maintaining the sharpness as high as we can. Now I wouldn't recommend tweaking any color or changing any color settings on the monitor without having the proper testing equipment. This is more of just a verification for peace of mind. What this color pattern should look like to you is something similar to the one that you see in the middle here. If it's oversaturated or there's too much color, we're going to start getting to this end or too little color, we'll uh, start getting somewhere down at this end. Now that we've got our monitor totally calibrated, now is the time where you pick whatever you like to view on your monitor the most, put that image source up, and those other settings that we turned off right at the start, now is a chance for you to kind of turn them on and off and see what they do for your image, and then adjust it to whatever you like to see.